Hey, yo, Slav, what jersey you rocking today? Last time you had the, the, the Raptors on. Man, man, I got the I got the throwback Kings, man. Vladdy Divac, man. Just had to switch it up, give him something different, man. man. That's uh, a bit about Vlade. He was a vital cog in that system. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So KD finally said he's done with the trade request. I mean, Sly said it, Da Vinci said it. I think I was the only one that was like, he might get traded. You know what I'm saying? I I, I didn't see him not getting traded. But then once we see what they wanted for him and, you know, just the situation that was going on in the whole league, um, Sly and DaVinci were right, man. KD was not going anywhere. And uh, Kyrie, all those demands you made, I mean, my G, you weren't going nowhere unless KD went. But I digress. Which one of y'all gentlemen want to take on this task first of explaining how KD looks or how you feel about the whole scenario. Well, listen, me and Sly were saying it like KD's not gonna get traded because listen, okay, first of all, this is how much of a superstar KD is, right? At the age he's at right now. You still would have to trade ninety percent of your team to get him. Right? You still would have to trade trade ninety percent of your team to get that. And whatever superstars you have on your team, it's like most likely two of them are coming. Right? So I didn't think that, I don't know, think anybody had the pieces. Um, right? They wanted, they, Phoenix was the number one choice. They wanted Booker and Aiden. Bro. Um, and then once he signed back, it, it was over. But I don't think he was going to get traded. Um, I'm happy he didn't get traded. First of all, so I'm going to digress for a little bit. Hit it up, Sly. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really be feeling like a lot of times, it's, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on, man. It's like, it, it ain't a, a lot of movement this offseason. What, what else are we going to talk about? Let's just add in these random Kevin Durant trade rumors. And I don't know, I always felt it was a little weird, but I mean, I, I, I'm liking I'm liking this though. I like that they stood pat. They did make some moves, like they picked up Royce O'Neal and TJ Warren. Those are legit moves. Like I, I like that. They stick with Ben, Kyrie, KD. I'm, I'm digging that. Like I'm liking it. I'm liking that team, man. I feel like a few other teams should make. I feel like Milwaukee could, could make a move or two. I feel like um, Boston made a uh, Boston made a nice little move. But I'm I'm liking um I'm liking Brooklyn finally coming to coming to terms and saying you know what, we're gonna stick with what we got KD staying Kyrie like I really think that was the plan all along they just want to give us something to talk about but yeah I'm overall like I'm 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 with it yeah so um I can't even lie I wanted KD to to stay. But I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't have had a problem if he left. Also, to what you're talking about, Da Vinci, you wouldn't have had to trade your whole team. You know when you had to trade your whole team? When Rudy Gobert goes for Thanks. eight players. And we know Rudy Gobert is not even a quarter of the play KD is. If listen, I'm dead serious. I don't know, I don't know who, who needs to hear this. If Rudy Gobert never got traded, I believe KD would have got traded. Because his package would have been different. But when you see how much Rudy Gobert goes for, all mm -hmm. those picks and players, there's no way a team has that to give up for KD. Thanks. There's no way. And come on, Rudy Gobert, I, I don't even know why Minnesota did that. Like, I feel sorry for y'all if y'all end up having to trade Cat and Atman in the next two years. Because I, I'm not mad at that, though. I think, I think that was a good move, like, as far as uh... – as like as far as the on court, like that was a good move. I just feel like they gave him too much. Like I think he's a good fit. They might have just gave him too much for him though. But I'm I'm not mad at Minnesota picking him go bear, but giving up so much for him just literally just destroyed the market. Like it's so many players better than Go Bear, like and more valuable. But yeah, so you gotta offer you have to offer more than what Go Bear got for even Donovan Mitchell. So it's like, I think the market is kind of kind of weird now, thanks to Gobert. 
Danny Ainge pulled a, Danny Ainge do what Danny Ainge do, man. He, we got to put some respect on his name. He going to get you. He he going he going to milk you dry, bro. He going to get them picks. Yeah, like he, he he ain't playing no games. He's playing absolutely no games. Don't mind me right now. I'm I'm looking at Twitter right now cuz I remember and I forgot I should have I should have jumped on it and saved it from time. The whole ish situation between um the boy there, Django Face, and KD, where <laughs> where he said, "Yo, KD, I think that I think they deleted it. I oh, really what? do. I think it's deleted. Like I'm trying to find it right now, and I can't find it. 